Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Snarf and Wife. In this episode, we're going to show you how to stream games from your PC to your phone, tablet, or TV. So let's not waste your time and jump right in. <laughs> Are you tired of your brother, sister, girlfriend, or wife hogging up the Nintendo Switch playing that freaking Animal Crossing game anywhere they want? Meanwhile, you have to watch jealously from your super powerful overheating PC. Maybe you're tired of being part of the PC Master Race and wish you could sit with them outside while playing your favorite games like the rest of those hardcore mobile gamers. Well, get ready to see some sun because it's your lucky day! Ah! So a Steam Link app is actually a free app that's been out for a while now. But everyone I asked if they knew about it, no one's ever heard of it. So that's why we are making this video. Let's go over... <laughs> <laughs> so let's go over what you need to get started. First you'll need a decent PC running Steam. The second thing you'll need is an Apple or Android smartphone or tablet with the Steam Link app downloaded. You can even play on compatible TVs. Unfortunately, my TV is pretty old, so I couldn't test this feature. Then you'll need a high-speed internet connection, preferably over a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection, or better yet, a wired connection. You can even play over your cellular network, but you'll want to have an unlimited data plan, and be sure not to break any policies you have with that cell plan, or your parents will have this reaction. No, Dad! I didn't know! I promise! I think you promise! Okay. Ah! And his name is ah! John C. Also, although not necessary, I highly recommend a wireless controller that is compatible with your device. Luckily, you can connect a PS4 or Xbox controller to an iPhone or iPad since iOS 13, or if you're running Android, well then, you're also in luck as Android has supported both controllers for ages. Good job, Google. There are a ton of different options when it comes to controllers, but easily, the Xbox One controller is my favorite to use. Lastly, you're gonna need a Steam game that has controller support or TV capabilities. My guess is if you own Steam, then you probably were like me and participated in some Steam sales and own a dozen of games that you'll never play. So now that you have everything, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I would recommend is to pair your controller to your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Xbox controller, set it to pairing mode. I'm gonna go into settings on the iPad, go to Bluetooth settings, turn on my Bluetooth, and there goes the Xbox controller. Let's uh, select that. And as you can see, it's connected. And then what you're gonna wanna do is actually go to the Steam Link app here it's gonna ask you if you would like to use Bluetooth, say okay, and then go ahead and get started. Now it's gonna to try to find every computer that's on your network. It has found mine, I'm gonna to connect to that. And I don't know if you can see right now, but on my computer, it's gonna ask me to enter a number. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and enter that number onto my computer. And if you're not seeing that number, just make sure that Steam is running on your computer. It's gonna test the network connection to see if it's okay to stream. And just keep in mind, my wife is actually streaming right now, so it might bog down the network just quite a bit. Okay, the network test was complete. Let's click okay. Now you can see it's connected to my computer, the controller, and my internet connection. So you can go ahead and click start playing. Now, as you can see, it's streaming from the PC to my tablet. They're both gonna be identical, so when I move to the right, both are gonna move to the right. Now let's go ahead and jump back over to the left column here. You're gonna see I have 18 games installed, 30 games total. Let's go ahead and check out the installed games. And let's go ahead and launch one of them. Hmm. Let's launch. Let's go ahead and go with this one here. Click I agree. Well, there you go, guys. 
the game is playing on my PC and my tablet, so I can go ahead and take my tablet anywhere around the house as long as it's connected to the network with good connection. So I can go ahead and play it anywhere, but let's go ahead and jump right into the game. If you never heard of this game, it's called River City Ransom. Um, it's actually a remake of an old 90s or 80s game? I'm not sure actually. I used to love those games, so let's go ahead and click ready. And there you go guys. I am playing on both the tablet and... Oh, that's actually my own guy. I'm just hitting my own teammate. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. And I just want to give a big thanks to my older brother. He's the one that chokeslammed me. And thank you to my beautiful wife as well for helping me with these videos. And they both actually do YouTube as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave their links in the description below. Overall, I think it's a pretty great app. It does its job pretty well and it's free. Oh my god! Wow! I personally use it a lot when I'm on the couch chilling with my wife or when I want to be lazy in bed and just play some games. Now I really wouldn't recommend this for someone that's using cellu- Cellular. 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 Now I really wouldn't recommend it to someone using their cellular data. Personally, I've experienced a lot of lag when trying this method. On a good Wi-Fi connection, I find it great for playing RPGs or single player games because it does hiccup depending on your location. So I would probably stay away from competitive online games. Also, I think it's pretty important to actually have a controller. If you don't have one, it's gonna default to touch controls and it's really not the best experience. Now that you have everything, let's play some games. <laughs> 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 Ah, now you can watch your games while being depressed in bed. While watching TV, but not watching TV, but kind of watching TV. While taking the sh Or outdoors, when you should be enjoying nature. But this is 2020, so you need to be on your phone. If you like this episode, be sure to sub- No, snarf, no. You promise you would not ask people to subscribe. There you have it. We hope you like this video. Hopefully you learned something along the way. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, he's peed on my foot!